Hello and welcome to another tutorial and this time we're looking at creating a login page for your website. So let's dive in and create this uh, awesome website and as usual we start with uh, notepad. Let me open my notepad. Right now let me type in a, a style tag. As usual that's what we start with. By the way if you don't know anything about uh, HTML and CSS please watch my other videos so you can uh, follow along. Alright so we start with the opening and closing style tag and opening and closing body tags. So let me add a div here. So why am I adding a div? It's because uh, on this website, this, these, all these boxes are divs. So there's this top div, there's a div here, and then we've got these two input boxes and a button. So that's what we need to make right now. So sorry here, it's supposed to be like that, opening and closing div. Let me uh, copy that. So right here, let me let me leave some space and let's call this one. Let's give it an ID of uh, content. Okay. Uh, let's make another div right here. This one, let's give it an ID of. Uh, uh, actually, let's give it a class name instead. Class uh, equals. Let's name it top bar. Okay, because it's this bar here on top. All right. So inside there, let me type the words uh, login like that and let's save our document. So let's go to the desktop, uh, create uh, a folder named uh, web for no particular reason. Let's name our page home.html. Let's make sure it's uh, all files selected and let's save. Okay, so let's check it out. There is a uh, web. Let me open that and let me open yeah, so you see there it says login. So we have much work to do. So the first thing we need to do is get in, uh, bring in some images. I've got this uh, background image of uh, Easter eggs that I got from the net and this lock right here. So let me copy these because I need both of these to be in the same folder as my website. So this one is called one.jpg. This one is lock.png. Okay, so it's good to remember that. So right there and there, let me uh, make styles for our background. So the background is governed by the body because the body tag has everything in here. So let's create that style for the body. Let me create uh, one style for the content. Okay. Uh, let me create another a class this time of uh, top bar. Okay. Let me create another one for button because we'll be creating a button later. So let me let me do that. So I don't know what kind of button spelling this is. Okay, so let me create another one for. Uh, do I need another one? Yeah, oh, I need another one for the text boxes. Uh, text box, like that. Okay, so let's save and continue. So to start with, uh, let's put the background image. Uh, background image. Okay background image like that. You do that by typing URL and putting the inverted commas. We know the image in there is one.jpg. That's the name we give it. So let me uh, put a font family as well. Like that font family. This one I normally use Verdana. And uh, let's see what that does actually before we proceed. And right there you see there's a background image and the font has changed of the text. Now the image is way too big so let me uh, reduce its size by saying background size like that 100% like so. So if I were to adjust the width and height I would put 100% twice. This uh, deals with width, this one deals with height. But we don't care about the height right now so I will remove that and if I refresh you see the image reduce in size. Pretty cool for now. So let me give it also a font uh, size. I like uh, the font size to be something like uh, 13 pixels. Yeah, now we are good to go. So let's deal with the content now. Let me give it a background image, the background color. Okay, background color. Uh, let me give it a white for now as we move on. Let's give it a padding of uh, four pixels. Okay, so let me see what that does and there we are, we have this uh, bar here, but we want it smaller than this in terms of width. So let's type width uh, 400 pixels, 
the height will be automatic so we don't care about that and let's give it a margin we want to put this thing in the center so let's give it a left margin let's tell it to be auto like that uh, the margin right also should be auto what this will do is force the item to live in the center like that pretty awesome but we need it to go down a little bit more so let me uh, give it a margin top a margin top of 100 pixels so let's see and uh, we refresh and there we go it's uh, looking good so let's add some more items in this box so it doesn't look so glum okay so top bar uh, before that uh, let's create some input boxes so in this case uh, the text boxes are called uh, created by this input the input is a self-closing tag as you can see no need for opening and closing it's just self-closing so once I do that I'll get a text box let me see that right there there is a text box where I can type stuff nice okay so let me put some text on top of this uh, text box though uh, let me put a, a break tag first uh, let's say this is where you put your username like that okay let me put another break tag to give it a separate line but this input we need to define it the type of input is a text box so we use text like that that's how it's done and then um, we can add value if we want to this thing like that let me just say me for example just as an example so when I refresh you find that uh, oh it actually doesn't show that value so value equals uh, we can forget about it for now no need to add a value there let me uh, refresh the page okay okay so now let me give it a class uh, of uh, text text box let's see so here in text box let's give it some values to make it look nicer so uh, let's say width let's give it 100 percent 100 percent okay then uh, let's give it a background image a background color sorry background color of uh, R, let's say RGB now there's something new here we can do RGB normally we do something like zero 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 this gives it black so let's check that out and you see it black like that but let me give it a border before I explain uh, anything further there let me give it a border that's white border a solid border one pixel and white so let's see that so it doesn't look so 3d okay that's much better let me give it a, a height let's give it a height of uh, 30 pixels let me give it a font size of 18 pixels uh, by the way font size requires a hyphen there let's refresh and it looks much bigger okay let me give it a font weight uh, font weight that's uh, bold so the text in there is bold and let's make sure the color of the text is white like that so let's refresh and we see that happening right there very nice okay but the color is too dark so what we could do is go to this background color and add an a at the end now this gives us a possibility to enter another value here called alpha so zero means no alpha or zero alpha meaning the whole thing becomes transparent but one means fully opaque so one is fully opaque so you can uh, already guess by now that 0 0.5 will mean half of this okay so there we are it's semi transparent but because the item in the back is not semi transparent as well you can't see that so let's let's do that as well for the white uh, content background color here let's change that to something transparent but we want it white so 255 255 we give these colors a maximum value which gives white so when I refresh you see that the image is showing through both of these items which looks uh, very nice so let's move on and uh, create another text box here let me copy this uh, down here and okay so this one now is password okay so let's see what happens there okay there's not enough space there so let me copy these break tags let me put two of these break tags here and two of these here so that we create some space between them uh, very nice but now password somebody can see you typing so let's change that here where it says text we change it to password so the input type 
becomes password. So let me maximize that. And what that does actually is uh, make sure that when you're typing, no characters can be seen. Pretty awesome. So let's go down to the, let's add a button down there. So the button is also an input. So let's say input, let's close that tag. But the type, as you guessed it, is button, okay? So if I do that right now and I refresh and you see there's a button there, but it doesn't have a, a name. So let's just type a value like that. Let's give it a value, a value of uh, log in. So the value is the text that will display on the button like that. But the button isn't looking too great right now. So let's give it a class equals button like that. So now we can go up here and edit stuff about this button. So let's see this class. Let's give it a border. Uh, we want a solid one pixel white. Okay. Uh, the width, I want it to be 100 pixels. The height, I want that to be 30 pixels like that. And I want the color of the text to be white as well. But then I want uh, a background color right here. Uh, let me go to paint and get one from there. So let me let me check out uh, what color we used there. It was a blue. It's a very nice blue. So I go to paint and load this image I got from Google. Then to start with, I get a color picker and pick the color. Click edit so I can see what's making this color. So let me go there and say uh, 181, 214. And here it's 0 or 1 pretty much. We don't need the alpha in this case because we don't need it to be transparent. So I remove that. And when I refresh, unfortunately, I was uh, dealing with, I added this to the, oh no, I, I edited the wrong thing. So let's add this to the background color and revert this to what it was. A, zero, zero, zero and zero point five. So let's see that. Okay, now we have everything under control. Right, now the only thing remaining is the top bar here. That bar right there, right there. And the text in here is way too dark, so let's give it a gray color in content. Um, font color, where is that? Color white. So in content, let me say color. Let's, let's just say gray, okay? So the color is a bit weaker, like that, very nice. So let's add the top bar. Now the top bar has a color, this purple kind of color. I think it's purple, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, this one right here. So let me select that color and see what makes it tick. So 231, 123. So let's go here and say background, background color, RGB, okay. We don't need the alpha, so it's okay. Let me add that value, 231 and uh, 123, 225. So 123, 225. There we go, that's uh, for the top bar. And let's make sure that this one is oh, it's already selected as the class top bar. So let's see what happens here when we refresh the page. You see the top bar happening there, but let's add more cool stuff to it. So let's go and say color. I want uh, this to look white, the text to be white. Then I want the height of this thing to be around 40 pixels. Okay. Then I want the font size. I want the font size at 20. Uh, let's give it 25 pixels. Why not? So let me refresh and you see it's looking awesome like that. So let's just add this image on the corner over here. So to do that, we already know how to add an image. So let me go to login. After the text login, I'll say IMG source equals, then let's close this tag. Now the name of that image we have in our folder is called lock.png, like that. So let's see what happens. And you see the image showing there, but it ex it's extremely large. So let's add some styles. Now, instead of creating a new style here, I'll just do it right here to save time. So I'll say uh, width. Let me give it the same width as the top bar, which is 40 pixels. Uh -huh. Let's see how that looks like. 
like that but I want it over here so I'll tell it to float so let's float you to the right Mr. Lock Mr. Key so let's do that and you see it's very nice there but I wanted to leave a bit of space between itself and the box so I'll go to the top bar uh, right uh, here and give it a padding of uh, four pixels I think that should do padding four pixels like that and refresh and you see very nice gap there and I can type stuff you know I can type my name and I can type my password and click login looking pretty good so I hope you have learned something because right now this uh, looks uh, exactly almost exactly the same yeah so I hope you've learned something and uh, you can create your own login page in other videos we're going to uh, go in depth on this and actually create the mechanisms that are required for someone to actually log in and for the website to remember that person's name but for now that's it and uh, like comment and subscribe on the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss uh, future videos and goodbye